Hello, so this is going to be a update for the daily questions for week 3 of the painting challenge. Uh, as I said in another video, I have been busy with real life stuff and I've been sick so I've been falling behind on the videos. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to answer the questions for week 3. So question number 15, would I want to be a wizard or the only wizard in the world or have the only pet dragon in the world and I actually started thinking about uh, a guy in uh, school when I was uh, very young he he wasn't very nice and he didn't uh, make any friends so he brought uh, kittens to school sometimes because then he everyone wanted to play with the kitten so he was kind of popular for the moment uh, you don't want to be that guy so uh, and I I don't I rather uh, be something extraordinary myself than to own something that is extraordinary uh, it's a bit like owning a tiger <laughs> it's only a dragon really uh, but even worse <laughs> so uh, yeah I I'd be a wizard. That that'd be kind of cool. Uh, discontinue question number sixteen. Discontinued games or armies. Uh, so obviously I would say Warhammer Fantasy Battles, but that might be coming back. Uh, we don't know what Warhammer the Old World is going to be quite yet, uh, but it seems to be uh, Warhammer Fantasy Battles basically so uh, if I had to say something else then I would say I would like a a new Warhammer quest that's more like the first version uh, and if I <laughs> it's a funny thing because if, if what discontinued army would I want well uh, the one that comes to mind first is Kislev but that seems to be a big part of Warhammer the old world as well so I guess we'll find out in a few years uh, so question 17 the one from Dice Guy the five best colors so I only got Citadel colors uh, I'm gonna start off with Mornfang Brown the reason I like this is uh, you can use it on uh, many areas of the models usually such as uh, you know, leather bits that, and that's like everywhere for every army uh, use it uh, to paint the war beasts like the boars and the horses wolves also uh, I think I have my, my wolves are brown on the back and uh, get brighter and brighter towards the the belly uh, and it's it's a base color but it acts a bit more like a layer color it's uh, not as thick it's easier to work with you don't have to water it down as much uh, so uh, like this one next up we have uh, troll slayer orange and this is a, is a almost obnoxiously bright orange uh, so you use this sparingly uh, sometimes on uh, details uh, small areas and sometimes on the very last highlights on uh, red stuff to really make them pop and then uh, I have Mephiston red and uh, Calidor sky uh, and uh, the reason I like these are the same so I'm going to talk about them at the same time uh, they're basically uh, base colors uh, but they they can be kind of bright uh, if you use a thin layer on uh, a, a model that's primed white and it can be quite dark on uh, miniature that's primed black 
So, and also depending on how many layers you use and what washes you, you use, these can be quite bright and quite dark with minimal effort. And then I actually, I try to stay away from like shades, washes and stuff. Uh, but I actually choose uh, this discontinued uh, glaze, Gollyman Blue. And the reason I like this one uh, and why I think this uh, glaze is uh, the best one is you can use it on uh, uh, brighter metal details uh, to make the surface more reflective and it also gives a bit of a blue tint so it looks cold and almost uh, like in how I'm thinking of uh, Skyrim where they <laughs> how they show how uh, things are enchant enchanted and it almost gives that kind of a glow if you use quite a lot of it but not too much on uh, armor and weapons Uh, 18. First miniature game and how old uh, were I? Well, I've talked about that. I, I thought I was about 8, but me and my uncle actually talk, talked about it and uh, maybe I was 10 years old. Uh, so 8 or 10 years old Warhammer Fantasy Battles. Uh, 19. The time travel question. So my thinking here is that I want to go and see something that has a great effect on our world still, still have a great effect nowadays. Uh, and I want to go and see something that isn't uh, written down. So, uh, not, so I don't necessarily want to go to before there was writing, but see something that wasn't written down. So I would go to ancient Greece and hang out with uh, the philosophers uh, for a day. Uh, I don't know from the top of my head which of the philosophers were the ones that didn't write anything down themselves, uh, but I would ha hang with those guys and see how wrong we've got it. Uh, we've got their ideas now. Uh, Question number 20, one new box of minis, which one and why? So, I would really like to get my hands on a box of uh, Boar Boys for the Orcs and Goblins because they're discontinued, so you can't buy them in store anymore. Uh, but I would probably choose the Savage Orc Boar Boys because they look really fun to paint. I really want to paint up a unit of uh, those guys one day. Look like great miniatures. Too. So so um, I'd say Savage Orc uh, Boar Boys. So that's the question for week number three. Bye!